What's up, Watch Flyers? Today we're going to be talking about how the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card is worth way more than the $500 bonus that they're offering. My name is David. I'm the founder of Wise Flies, dedicated to saving you 90% on flights and get free hotel nights. If that topic interests you, then please subscribe. Let's get right to it. So the new Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card is offering a $500 cash back bonus, which is worth more. But after spending $3,000 in three months and no annual fee ever, you get $500, but that could be worth a lot more depending on which Chase credit cards you have. If you were to able, if you were able to transfer it over to a handful of Chase credit cards, then that would be worth a lot more than $500. Fortunately, you can move the Chase Ultimate Reward Points you've earned with the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card over to the Chase Inc. Preferred card, and you'll have access to a lot more value in travel, such as transferring to travel partners, First, let's take a look at all the Chase cards that earn Ultimate Rewards and how much those Ultimate Reward Points are worth with each card. The Chase Freedom is valued at one cent, Chase Freedom Unlimited, one cent per point, Chase Sapphire Preferred Card, 1.25 cents, Chase Sapphire Reserve, 1.5 cents, and the Chase Inc. Preferred Credit Card at 1.25. As you can see, the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card bonus from, goes from $500 to $625, so that's $500 times a 25% bonus when you transfer to the Chase Inc. Preferred or the Chase Sapphire Preferred. And when you transfer to the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, it goes up to $750 in value. So because it's $500 plus the 50% bonus. As with all the Chase Ultimate Reward cards that have an annual fee, you get a lot more value when you transfer to partners. For example, if you were to transfer 50,000 Chase Ultimate Reward Points to United Airlines, that's enough for a round trip ticket in business class from New York to San Diego. That round trip is worth more than $1,000. So with that redemption, you would get two cents per point. But my favorite way to redeem Chase Ultimate Reward Points is to get two round trips to Hawaii from anywhere in the US by transferring to Korean Airlines and at a one-to-one -one ratio, and it's only 25,000 per round trip plus $11 in taxes. If you wanna learn exactly how to do that, I have a link in the description. Those are just some of the benefits you get from the sign-up bonus, but this card has so many more benefits to offer. Let, let's take a look at some of these benefits. You get 1.5% on all transactions, extended warranty, so when you use the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card to purchase an item, the card will extend the time period of a U.S. manufacturer's warranty by an additional year on eligible warranties of three years or less. So you won't have to pay extra on additional coverage for the ticket item. The next benefit is purchase protection. Accidents happen, and this card offers protection against damage or theft of up to 120 days on new purchases up to $10,000 per claim and $50,000 per account. The next benefit is rental car insurance. So if you ever decline the insurance that the agency offers you and you put the entire purchase of the rental on the Chase Inc. Unlimited card, you'll get primary rental insurance when renting for business purposes. This covers damage due to theft or collision of the vehicle, but not damage to other vehicles or injuries. The next benefit is complimentary employee cards where you could control the spending. So this is a pretty cool feature. You could create employee cards for your employees and then put the limit of spending for each employee's card. So the big question is, is the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited worth the annual fee? Absolutely, since there is no annual fee. This card has the, a great sign of bonus and a ton of benefits to get a lot of value to never have to pay an annual fee ever. So if you like this card and you want other card offers, there's a link in the description. And if you want to learn how to get business credit cards without having a registered business, I have a link in the description for that as well. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.